What's up, MVP? Welcome back. Strebo here with you again. This week we are going to talk about a very special release, what is quite possibly the best ever direct-to-DVD release sequel, Feast 2 Sloppy Seconds. That's right. It is uh, the only sequel to ever come out of the Project Greenlight series. All the other movies made from the Project Greenlight series were uh, utter failures except for uh, the Feast film, which uh, went on to great success at a very limited theatrical run um, and uh, great sales on DVD enough so that uh, it was they were able to green light not only one sequel but two sequels a lot of the same cast is back from Feast all the survivors are back plus a few that we didn't think had actually made it the first time around of course the film is helmed once again by director John Gulliger uh, it's written by um, Patrick Melton and Marcus Dunstan once again Feast 2 picks up right where the first one left off. Uh, we've got the we we see Bozo drive off in his Trans Am, and uh, right at that moment um, we see uh, Diane Goldner's new character, the Biker Queen, drive up on her motorcycle with her um, you know all girl biker gang. Uh, Feast, if if you can't tell from the beginning, Feast 2 is just exploitation insanity from beginning to end. So Biker Queen walks up, she finds the character of Bartender, played by Clue Gulliger from the first film, um, who apparently survived. Um, we think that uh, Biker Queen is Harley Mama from the first one, but we quickly come to realize that she's actually her sister in uh, more ways than one. And uh, she wants revenge because she comes to lay the blame for her sister's death on the hands of Bozo from the first film. So this whole movie is about her going after Bozo and uh, looking for revenge. So her little bi all-female biker gang uh, basically kidnaps Clue Gulliger's character, uh, Bartender, and they drive to the nearest um, town out in the middle of nowhere uh, to look for Bozo which, um, at his home, obviously. Once they get there, they find out that the town has become overrun by the crazy monsters from Feast 1. There's more of them in this movie. And um, carnage is just ensuing all across the place. So that's pretty much all there is to the plot. I mean, you can go into the specifics of, of what gags happen and this and that. Um, that's kind of the, the flow of events of the, the plot itself is just watching all these, these crazy things happen. Um, a lot of people were really disappointed in Feast 2, but I have to say I am not one of them. Uh, this film is just chaotic, um, nihilistic to a certain sense, um, just completely insane and all over the place, and I love that kind of stuff, and, and uh, if you're anything like me that loves loves these kind of uh, exploitation goodies and uh, just crazy horror flicks um, in the Evil Dead or Evil Dead 2 or Brain Dead or in the Dead Alive vein, then you'll love this kind of thing. So Bartender and the Biker Girls make their way into uh, into the town to look for Bozo, and they wind up joining up with a few other survivors in this town. Um, we have uh, a couple dwarf wrestlers, um, we have um, a used car salesman and his wife, and uh, his uh, number one employee. Um, they all wind up um, basically stuck together just out of circumstance because they, they found each other. They're trying to survive. The monsters are running around everywhere. They're stuck in the town. They decide that the only safe place to go in the town is actually into the jail because it's fortified. Um, the, apparently there's some kind of meth addict um, locked, in the, locked in the jail. He's, he's closed it down, locked all the doors, won't let anybody inside. So, the, so all these survivors spend the entire movie trying to uh, break their way into the jail um, first from they hide inside a series of buildings and then they wind up um, being chased to the rooftops by the monsters and they're stuck on the rooftops of the buildings trying to make their way in I mean the plot is is fairly simple uh, but the name of this the game in in feast is just wild exuberance I mean this movie is insane you can tell that they had a lot of fun while they were making it and it really shows I mean there's tons of gore just great kill moments and um splat stick effects all throughout the film plus uh you know we have the required tna nudity and um, just insanity from beginning to end this film actually in a lot of ways i think they literally tried to just see what they could get away with i mean they 
they kill so many people and so many things happen. I don't want to spoil everything for you, but if you're not shocked or disgusted or surprised at some point throughout this film, then I don't know. Perhaps uh, you're you're as crazy as as I am, but. <laughs> I enjoyed the flick. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. Just sit back, enjoy the ride, expect to get shocked, expect to get disgusted, expect to get entertained. I mean, um, I can't even run down the Strebo Slasher stats in this one. It's got so many dead bodies. Dead dogs, um, you know, 20 gallons of monster spunk and semen, you know, uh, 40 gallons of monster vomit. It's got maggot eating, you know, severed limbs, severed heads, um, bodies blown in half. Melting grandmothers. We've got people catapulted into the air. We've got naked biker chicks running around. Oh gosh, uh, monsters ripping everybody and everything apart. It just Feast Two has it all from beginning to end. The performances in Feast Two are really strong from everybody. Clue Gulliger is back. Um, also, John Gulliger's brother. Tom Gulliger uh, makes an appearance as the character of Greg. He's, he's apparently the only guy that has, actually has a real name in the Feast universe. Um, he does a great job. You know, all the other characters, um, of course, uh, Jenny Wade as Honey Pie, uh, Carl Anthony Payne II as um, the car salesman Slasher. Um, there's just so much going on in this film. They, these guys, they play it straight. They make it believable. They keep you entertained and pull you throughout the film from beginning to end. Surprising new additions to the cast were uh, Juan Garcia as Lightning and Martin Kleba as Thunder. They were the uh, dwarf wrestlers. They did a fantastic job. I mean, you know, if you sit here and listen to what I'm saying, you've, we've got you know, midget wrestlers, we've got naked biker chicks, we've got monsters with two foot long cocks, we've got <laughs> monster vomit, monster spunk. We've got Melting Grandmas, everything you would want to see in just a nasty, crazy horror exploitation flick. And Feast 2 has it all. It, a lot of these things are also going to repulse a lot of people. But uh, those that enjoy this kind of stuff and this kind of insanity, you'll enjoy it from beginning to end. Um, on the Strebo Screamometer, we've got to give Feast 2 Sloppy Seconds a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 very good we enjoyed it we loved it. it's possibly the greatest ever direct to dvd sequel um so uh don't wait check it out it's uh one of our better horror films from 2008 and the only thing that i hate about it is that it wasn't released in a theater because i would have loved to see it then you know i had to knock a few points for just some horrible cheesy cgi effects and you know the plot is is just shot to pieces with a shotgun but this is not that kind of movie it's not about the plot it's just about characters running around being thrown into a meat grinder seeing which ones survive what do they do how do they react all the way through and uh you know we can't recommend it enough so check it out you'll enjoy it <laughs>